Hey everyone, Sean Watasa here, back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to customize and create your very own Connect Wallet button using ThirdWeb's Connect Wallet UI component. With ThirdWeb's brand new Connect Wallet UI component, you can customize things from the Connect Wallet button itself and even the Connect modal that you use when a user selects their wallet. So an overview of what we're going to be covering in this video, we're going to first go over and show you some of the customizations that you can achieve with the Connect Wallet component. Then we'll dive in and show you how we actually created these custom Connect Wallet components. And we'll go over some of the customization features that you can use with ThirdWeb. And with all of that being said, let's jump on the computer and take a look at the demo. So right here on my computer, I have a connect wallet button. You can see I changed the text to just connect and we added this little hover effect where we have a little bit of glow from some drop shadow. And when I click on top of my connect wallet button here, you can see that we customized one of the icons of our wallets. We can add our own custom icons. We can change the name. Uh, we can change the title of this modal right here as well. Here on the side, which we call the welcome screen, we give you the ability to change the image, the title, the subtitle as well. And you can change those three properties to anything that you want. Now we do give you the customization to even take this welcome screen on the side here further. I'll just uncomment some code here and we can, instead of choosing just the image title and subtitle, we can actually render out our own component here on the welcome screen. So you can render out just an image if you want. We also can render out an image maybe with a gradient on the left side here. So let me just comment this out, uncomment this. And when we go back in, you can see it kind of bleeds the left hand side into our image. And we can also build our own custom UI component. So let me just comment this out here and let me uncomment our custom one. So with the welcome screen on the right, we actually have the ability to render out our own components within the welcome screen. So right over here, you can see I have a title, I have a video playing, I have a little subtext here saying connect your wallet to claim, and I have a counter here that says only 97 left. So this number here, 97, is actually connected to an NFT contract and it's displaying how much NFTs are left in this collection. So again, we give you the customization to render out any component that you want right here in the welcome screen on the right side. So that was a demo of some of the wallet customizations that we're going to go through. So let's actually go now and build these customizations out using our Connect Wallet UI component. I'm going to open up my terminal here and I'm going to run npx third web create app. I'm going to call this a custom wallet button. We're going to use Next.js and I'm going to use TypeScript. We'll then change into our project and open this up in our code editor. So once we have our project opened up in our code editor here, I'm going to head over to the pages folder and first head to the underscore app.tsx file. I'm going to change this active change here to a Mumbai because we are going to be interacting with a contract that I have deployed. And the first thing we're going to do is create our connect wallet button. So heading over to index.tsx, uh, we have some templated code here. I'm going to close that and I'm going to just delete everything within this uh, container div right here. So I'm going to delete all of this. And within there, I'm just going to add a connect wallet component there, remove that. And let's center our button in this container styles here. So I'm going to open up my styles folder, go to this home.module.css, and I'm going to display a flex and center this here. So I'll close that. So I'm just going to display effects and center everything. And what we'll do here is we'll run our project. Well, actually, before we run our project, we if we look at our underscore app.tsx file, we have our client ID that we need to provide. So I'm going to head over here to my files, go to this .env.example, and I'm going to paste in my client ID. Now, if you aren't familiar with third web API keys, we'll add a link down to a video down in the description that goes over it. Uh, we show you how to generate and create an API key. And all you need to do is provide your client ID right over here. And then we'll rename this here. We'll get rid of the example and just keep it at the .env. 
And once we have all of that, uh, we'll come here, we'll run yarn dev to take a look at our application. So right over here, you can see we have a connect wallet button in the middle of our app here. This is the default third web connect wallet UI component. When you click on it, you can see this is the default connect modal that you get, the default logo and title here with the default wallets and the default welcome screen right over here. So if you are creating an app and you just want to quickly plug in a connect wallet button, you can use this. This is the default button that you'll get just by providing the connect wallet component right over here. You get this fully working connect wallet button and this connect screen. Now let's go over some of the customization that you'll be able to do with this connect wallet button. First, we'll take a look at customizing this actual button right here. So this button, maybe you want it to match the styling or branding of your app, and we can change and customize a few things here. The first thing is the title of the button. So let's take a look at our connect wallet here. Let me just drop this down. So in our connect wallet, we have the button title property here and we can change the button title, the text of the button to whatever we want. So we can have it say, just connect. We'll come back. You can see it changes it just to connect here, or we can change it to something like login. And we can have our text say login instead. Now, if we wanna change the look of the button, we can actually just style our button like we normally would a regular button. And we can just give it a class name here. And we'll just say uh, styles.connectButton. And we can then create our own CSS styling for this button. So I'm gonna come back to our styles folder and open that home.module.css. And we'll add some button styling here. So I have some button styling that I want to add. I'll come right over here and add it in. So you can see here we have a connect button. We added some uh, background colors, uh, border radius. We added some box shadow. We added, uh, changed the color, font size, height, gave it some padding and some positioning. And we then gave it a hover effect where we kind of just make the box shadow glow a little brighter and we move the button up by transforming it. So with all of that, you do want to make sure that when you do add a class name and you style your button, you do want to make sure you add important here to override the class styling that the button already has. So we come back to our app here. You can see now we have this button that matches our uh, CSS styling. So if I come back here to my code editor and I come back to my styling and maybe I want the border radius to be uh, 20 pixels instead, uh, we can come here and you can see now I have more of a pill shape button. So now when we click on that, we still get the same connect modal, uh, but you can style this button to whatever you want to match your own application. So that again is customizing the actual button here. If we click on it, next thing we're gonna do is go over some of the customizations that we can do with the connect modal right over here. So coming back to my code editor, the first thing we'll edit is some of the actual theming of the modal. So if you come on over to ThirdWeb's dashboard and you go to the wallets tab, you can use the connect playground here to actually customize some of the appearances of your connect wallet button. But if you go under theming here, anything that you change under theming will change the colors of the modal. So we can change things like the background color. Uh, we can change things like the border color. And if you want a visual editor, you can come over again to the connect playground and you can play around with these different colors and change the theming for your button. Now I'm going to come back to my code editor here, actually come back to our app. Uh, and I'm just going to customize a few things for our connect modal here. So coming back to our code editor, I'm first going to create my own custom theme. So I'm going to come here, create a custom theme. And this is going to override the dark theme here. And in dark theme, we can change things like font family if you wanna use a different font. Uh, so let, actually let's do font family and I'm just gonna change this to Futura. And we'll come to colors and this is where we can edit some of the colors uh, within the theme. So the first color I'm gonna change is the modal background. I'm actually gonna change this just to all white here. We can change the primary text color. I'm gonna change this to a darker color here. 
We can change the wallet hover. So this is going to be the background color of when you hover over a selected wallet. We'll actually make this a little brighter or a little darker. We can change the color of the separator line. We'll make this actually white here. Actually, we'll leave it a uh, light gray first. We'll change it later. And then we can add a border color so we can actually give it a border color as well. Now, you can add all your customizations to your theming here, and we just need to apply the theming to our connect wallet button. So in our connect wallet button, we'll just set the, the theme here to our custom theme. If I save that and head back to our application and I reopen up my connect modal, you can see all of the changes from the font to the coloring. We have the separator line and the hovering over uh, is all customizable and you can choose whatever color to match your branding that you want. Now, if we head back to our demo, one here and we connect uh, and we open our connect modal, you can see that we had some custom icons and some custom naming here. We made it all caps uh, or we can actually just change the name. So instead of Coinbase wallet, we can just say Coinbase instead. And you can theme your own icons to again, match the branding of your application. So coming back to ours, we're gonna go ahead now and change the icons as well as the naming of these wallets. So heading back to my code editor here, I'm gonna open up my public folder and I'm gonna drop in some icons here. So I have three of the icons um, right over here that are for MetaMask, Coinbase, and Wallet Connect. And those are the icons that we're going to uh, reference right over here. And to change the styling of our wallets, we're gonna actually come back to the underscore app.tsx file. And right over here, we're going to create our custom wallets. So first we need to create our own custom, uh, we'll do MetaMask first. So MetaMask wallet. And our custom MetaMask wallet is going to be a MetaMask wallet. We can even add things like recommended if you want it to have the recommended subtext. So we'll just say uh, true. And once we have our custom wallet, then we can now start to edit the, the metadata of this custom wallet. So we can say our custom MetaMask wallet, we can do dot meta dot name, and we can give it any name that we want. So if we wanted to, we could say all caps, we'll just say Fox wallet, and it can change the name to Fox wallet. Now we can also change the image of the wallet as well, or the icon. So we can just do a custom MetaMask wallet. We can do meta.icon URL. And our icon here is going to be slash uh, metamask icon.png, which is our image right over here that we have. So we can do this with the other wallets as well. So we have two other ones that we're going to do. So we can do a custom uh, coin base wallet, uh, which is going to be a Coinbase wallet. We'll do the recommended, we'll take that off. And then we're also going to do a wallet connect. So custom wallet connect, and that's going to be a wallet connect. And we can do our custom Coinbase wallet uh, name, we'll call this Coinbase, we'll get rid of the name wallet. And then for the image, we have Coinbase icon, and then we can do the same thing for custom uh, wallet connect. We can change the name, we'll leave it as wallet connect, and we'll give it the image of a wallet connect icon. Now, we have our wallets, uh, but we need to make sure that we provide this wallet to our connect wallet button so it knows to show these wallets here. So if you scroll down and we're gonna head into our third web provider here, this is where we can tell our connect wallet what wallets it should support. So in here, we'll use the supported wallets and we'll pass it an array of wallets that we want to support. And in this case, we wanna support our own custom MetaMask, custom Coinbase, and custom Wallet Connect. So if we save that and head back over to our app and we hit log in, you can see here we have our custom icons, our custom names. So instead of MetaMask here, we have Fox Wallet. It has our recommended subtext. We have Coinbase and we have Wallet Connect as well. 
So again, you can customize your very own icons and the naming of your wallet. And you have full customization over those things. Next, let's actually customize this top left corner here. So we have the third web logo here along with the connect title. We can actually customize that as well. So coming back to our code editor, I'm gonna head back to our index.tsx file and we'll actually edit this within our connect wallet button. So the first one is going to be our modal title uh, and this one we can, it says connect by default, but we can have it say whatever we want. So we can say login with wallet and we can then change the modal title icon URL too. So we can change it to an icon. Let's just change it to our MetaMask icon right now. We'll head back to our app. We'll hit login. So you can see we have our little MetaMask icon here, but you can change this to your own branding and logo. And you can see here, the text has changed to login with wallet. Now we can also just purely remove the icon if we want to, if we come back to our code editor here and we just give it a empty string like that. We can come back to our app and when we reopen it, uh, it just removes the icon and logo in the top left. So I'll come back here. I will change this to just uh, login. And when we come back here, it just says login in the top left. So again, that's kind of going over the left side of our connect modal here. We can change and customize things like the logo and branding and the title of our connect modal. And we can also change things like the wallet icons along with the wallet names. Next, let's go over this right side right over here. And this is considered the welcome screen of our connect wallet button. So we're gonna do a few different customizations to this welcome screen here. The first one is just going to be a simple edit to the image, the title and the subtitle that we have right over here. So heading back to our code editor, we can come back to our index.tsx file, uh, make sure that we are, we're gonna edit this within our connect wallet button here. So if I do a welcome screen, oops, welcome screen, uh, this is where we can change information on our welcome screen. And this is going to include the, oops. And in our welcome screen, this is where we can change things like our title. So we can say, uh, connect wallet to claim NFT. We can edit the subtitle and we can have this say, claim your NFT now. And we can also change the image. So with the image here, we'll provide it with a source of our image. And I have another image here that I will provide. So let's go here. I'm going to just slide in this jacket image into my public folder. And we're just gonna use this image here. When you edit just the three main sections of the welcome screen here, you'll only be able to apply images here. So we'll save that for that image and then we'll head back to our app here. So when I, and we'll head back to our app here and when I open up my connect wallet button, ooh, we forgot to add some sizing to our image. So let's do, uh, Height, we'll give it uh, 150, and then width, we'll give it 150 as well. So coming back to our app, uh, we open that up. You can see we have an image of our jacket image here. We have the title and the subtitle that we edited on our welcome screen. So over here, again, you can just add in something like your brand logo, brand name with a subtitle, or any type of heading, or any type of title and subtitle that you want to add. And this is gonna be the same things that you can configure in the Connect Playground. So under appearances here, if you come to the welcome screen, you can change the title, subtitle, and the splash image right over here. Now we do give you the ability to customize that welcome screen with anything. So you can actually render out your own component that you want in that welcome screen. So I'm gonna comment this out really quick here. And we're gonna create another welcome screen here. And in this welcome screen, we'll be able to actually, let me delete that. In this welcome screen, we'll be able to render out our component that we want to show in the right side of our connect module, in our connect modal. 
So over here, I'm going to create a div. And within this div, I'm going to display just an image. So I'm actually going to use ThirdWeb's media renderer here. And I'm going to provide this. Oops. Close this, sorry. Provide this with a source here. And I have an image uploaded to IPFS here that I'm going to use. And we're going to give this a height of 100%. And we're going to give this a width of auto. Now I'm going to make sure that this div, I'm going to give it some styling really quick um, and give it a height of 100% and a width of 100% as well. So right over here, again, we have our welcome screen, but instead of editing the title, subtitle, and image, we're actually going to render out our div here, which is going to display an image that I have uploaded to IPFS. So if I come back to my app here, we'll close this out, we'll reopen our connect model, and you can see we have an image right over here. We'll actually uh, flip the uh, height to auto and the width to 100% here and close this and then reopen it back. And there you go. We now have an image spanning our full welcome screen here. So if you want to just create your own graphic or something and display it on the right side of your connect modal, you can do that. And that can be your customization right over there. You can also get creative a bit. Uh, we have an image that we have uploaded. So I'll just switch it where we've added a gradient to the left side that goes from white into the image. So if I come back to my code editor here, I'm just going to replace this image here. And we'll come back to our app and we open it up. Uh, you can see that it bleeds in from the white into the image. Uh, we'll actually change the color of that separator line, which is this line going down the middle here. So if I come back up to my theme uh, separation line, we'll just make this white. And if we open that up, you can see now we can create this nice gradient effect from the left side of our modal into the image here. So you can get creative with how you use the welcome screen to create your own connect modal. And then the next customization we're going to do is actually display some live data here on the right side of our component. So if we come back to our demo one here, you can see one, we have a video playing. So we'll render out our own video here. And we'll also have a count here saying how much NFTs are left. So I actually have a addition drop contract deployed. An addition drop contract is our ERC 1155 claimable NFT contract. And all I have is one NFT right over here. Um, and I have set the claim conditions. So the claim conditions was that there is only a total supply of 100 and that they're free to claim. So right now we have three that have been claimed already, which is why in our demo here, we have 97. If I were to come back and claim another one, let's just claim one of these here. If I head back to my demo app here, we hit our connect button, you can see it updates to 96. So we can pull information from our contracts or any data that we want, and we can display it here in our welcome screen. So let's build something just like that. Uh, let's head back to our project right over here. Head back to our code editor. I'm going to just comment out this welcome screen here. Now, for us to display some of that information from that contract, we're going to need to be able to read some data from that contract. So I'm going to get my contract here using the use contract hook from ThirdWeb. And we're going to provide it with the contract address. So I'm just going to paste in the contract address here. And then we're going to get some of the data of the claim condition from that contract. So data here, we're going to call this claim condition. And we're going to use the use active 
claim condition hook and give it our contract along with, because it is an ERC-1155, we have to provide it with the token ID as well. And that will allow us to get some of the data of how many NFTs are left and some other information from our claim condition. So scrolling down here, we're gonna create another welcome screen. And we're gonna create our own component here again for our welcome screen. So we'll give a div. And this div here, we're gonna give it just some styling here to center everything. So style, we're gonna do, uh, not direction, display. Uh, we're gonna flex, uh, we're gonna make it column, align item center, justify items in the center as well. And we're gonna give it a padding here of 20 pixels. Then within here, we're just gonna add a heading here. We'll just say a jacket NFT. Below that, we're going to render out our video. So I actually have a video of the jacket uh, rotating here. Um, so I'm gonna do media renderer. It's actually uploaded to IPFS. So I can just pull down that IPFS URL here. And just copy that, paste it in here. And then we'll set the uh, width. Um, it is a 16 by nine. So I'm actually gonna zoom in a bit by giving it a width of 175%. Uh, we'll put some subtext under it uh, saying to connect your wallet to claim. And then we will provide it with, we'll just say a heading three here, just so it's a little bigger. And we'll say only, and then we'll give it a span here because this will be where we put in the, the number. And then we'll say left. And our span here, our number, we're gonna make give it a style here so it's a little bit bigger. We'll give it the font size of two rem. So right over here, the number and how we're gonna get the number is we're gonna get our claim condition and we're going to get the current mint supply. And that's gonna give us back the current number that is available left to claim. So if we save that and we now head back to our app, if we click our login button, uh, you can see we have our jacket, we have our connect wallet to claim and we have only four left. I think I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, let's head back to our not current mint supply, um, available supply, sorry about that. So available supply, we'll come back, uh, hit log in, and there you go, we have 96 left. So if you're creating an NFT project or something, you can showcase your remaining supply to encourage people to maybe connect their wallet and claim their NFT. You can also show videos off and everything on your welcome screen here, just like how we have this jacket here. And uh, Let's actually change all of our text here to some uppercase. Uh, we can say uh, connect your wallet to claim. And we can say uh, only left. There you go. And we have now our own custom connect modal here. So there you have it. We went over a few ways you can customize the third web connect wallet UI component to customizing the actual connect button itself to match your app or branding or even apply some effects or animations that you wanna to apply to the button. We also customize the connect modal where you'll be able to customize the wallet icons, the wallet names, and the color theming, and even the things that you want to render in the welcome screen of the modal. Again, with ThirdWeb's Connect Wallet button, we give you the power of customization to create a wallet that matches your brand and your application. And if you wanna take your level of customization even further, we actually give you all the low level tools to create your very own custom Connect Wallet button. You don't need to use ThirdWeb's Connect Wallet UI component. We give you all the tools and hooks that you need to create your very own and you can fully create your very own connect wallet button from scratch we'll add links to everything down in the documentations along with a link to our connect playground if you want to play around and customize your own connect wallet button with a visual editor 
But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on videos just like this. If you have any questions or support, we'll add a link down in the description below. You can check it out, open a support ticket, and our support team will be happy to answer any of your questions. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what types of Connect Wallet buttons you're able to design and customize. And until next time, see ya.